<laughs> you want me to do this to you? <laughs> <laughs> do it. Today is Max Fan Day. We have two to install, and it'll be the first holes that we drill in the van. <laughs> it's like the that's the rite of passage. That's like the threshold where the build really begins. So, so we're nervous. Ready to kind of, but not really. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's get started. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> All right. So the hole for the Max fan is cut. Uh, it's not the prettiest in the world, but it will do. I am a a uh, firm practitioner of the measure twice, cut thrice mentality. <laughs> so it's not the best, but it's going to work just fine. Um, and so uh, now we need to just get the rest of it ready to go. We put it pretty far back. This section is the no drill zone. Uh, and so we were able to put it, we were able to put the hole in front of the no drill zone and to the furthest point back of the van so that when we put the other fan up here it will the air will be moving from all the way in the back throughout the van and up here or down and back up there so we're trying to even when we have all the doors closed and everything like that we're trying to make the most of our circulation and make sure there's as much airflow as possible so now we're going to start installing um, or using the uh, butyl tape to uh, start sealing it and then drill the pilot holes for mounting it, drill the thing in. So let's get going. How's it coming? Uh, okay, I think. <laughs> this uh, butyl tape is no joke. Like it's really sticky or what? It is really sticky. Oh, interesting. Okay, so what I'm working on today is getting our boards ready for the ceilings and the walls. If you've been following along uh, or watched our last build and travels, it should be no surprise to you that we like a rustic cabiny vibe. So that's what we're going with again. Um, I've got these cedar panels. It's really thin quarter inch uh, wainscoting from Home Depot. And we used this but pine last time and we loved it. Um, a lot of people worry that it's gonna be too flimsy but we even had this stuff on the wall in our bedroom of the bus and we would lean on it and stuff and it was fine. It felt really strong. So I'm excited to use this kind of uh, wood again because it's lightweight, it's cheap, it's easy to work with. And right now I'm finishing it with some oil. Something that's nice about these pieces is I actually can pick which side looks better. See, this is a really pretty piece. I can't decide which side to use. And the oil is just going to make all that pop. There's a hole in our van. There's a hole in our van there. 
There's a hole in our van. Dealer lights up a hole. So I'm up on the roof installing the Max fan. You know, the issues with a lot of these vans are that they have these uh, ridges on top of the roof. That makes it difficult for um, the Max fan frame to kind of sit flush. And you need that for, you know, a seal. You know, you, want, you don't want water coming in. And so um, I've, there are a couple ways to deal with it. There are some people that make these, um, they make adapters that will fit into the grooves um, and they're recessed where they don't need to be so they make a flat surface um, but they're expensive they're like 60 bucks um, and I didn't want to spend that so um, I found someone that had taken some of this um, cove wall paneling or wall floor paneling something basically you see it in hallways like in high schools where the floor wraps up to meet the wall a bit and it's just a rubber piece and so what he did was he stacked uh, two of these, I believe, maybe just one, but two of these um, on the sides uh, of the hole where uh, the frame needs to be built up. Uh, and he put uh, butyl tape on the bottom and on top, and he said that made a flush surface. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm kind of excited to see if it works. So this is my hole so far. This is the butyl tape around here. I'm going to be cutting a strip there and a strip there. and these segments, that's the problem. So we're trying to build this up to be that height. Okay, Max fan install number one, at least on the roof, is done-ish. Uh, it's not very pretty, but it works. So this is what I ended up with. I really kind of got liberal with the Dicor, uh, self, self-leveling sealant. But check it out. There she blows. So it's, it's not gonna leak, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay. You want to tell us what you're doing? <clears throat> so we just drilled four holes through the roof from the bottom and now we're just taping out the areas um, on top of the roof that we're going to make the hole for our max fan. Second max fan. Second max fan, that's right. Alright, so from in here we've got a garbage bag taped up. Zach is about to cut the last line so I'm going to tape it up with some duct tape to stabilize it a little bit and to keep that big metal piece from just crashing onto our finished floors through the bag, so. So I have decided to shave my head. Uh, usually you see me in hats and beanies all the time because um, I don't like putting crap in my hair. And I don't like how that feels. And uh, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to get a haircut is. So instead of just feeling like I've constantly got to be wearing hats, I'm just going to shave it all. I did it once in college. Uh, Tiffany said it's okay. It's all right with her. It's okay. So um, I. I mean, 
it's usually under a hat or a beanie all the time anyway yeah. so i guess it won't be much different i really like your hair but i only see it like out yeah, we never see and it and styled like if we're going to a wedding i, I or really something. i can't stand i can't stand having like gunk in my hair so um yeah I, this is happening okay you want me to do this to you <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do you immediately regret agreeing to do this? Yeah, no, it's kind of fun. Oh my god, your hair was long. <laughs> I know, it really... I can't wait for you to see what you look like right now. <laughs> Get it. Oh my god! Oh no! No, no, no! Do the rest of it, hurry! <laughs> I've aged 30 years. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, though, like. I mean, right? Yeah. Like, it's not so bad. Yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? You did a good job. It looks really even. Thank you. Ugh, oh, that feels good. I missed my calling. Ugh, oh, man. I used to shave my dad's back for it. <laughs> <laughs>